Welcome to morning prayer for the first Sunday of Lent in the Anglican Parish of Gisborne. As it is Lent, we will be moving into a slightly different feel for today, and I invite you to join with me where possible with the responses at home. Open our lips, O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O God, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment. Give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever.
me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O give me thy Shall I be pleased with the 
The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Micah chapter 6 Listen to what the Lord says. Stand up. Plead my case before the mountains. Let the hills hear what you have to say. Hear, you mountains, the Lord's accusation. Listen, you everlasting foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a case against his people. He is lodging a charge against Israel. My people, what have I done to you? How have I burdened you? Answer me. I brought you up out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. I sent Moses to lead you also Aaron and Miriam. My people, remember what Balak, king of Moab, plotted, and what Balaam, son of Beor, answered. Remember your journey from Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the righteous acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow down before the exalted God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him. And Levi got up left everything and followed him. Then Levi held a great banquet for Jesus at his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with them. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who belonged to their sect complained to his disciples, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered them, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. They said to him, John's disciples often fast and pray, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees, but yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus answered, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, in those days they will fast. He told them this parable. No one tears a piece out of a new garment to patch an old one. Otherwise they will have torn the new garment and the patch from the new will not match the old. A 
and no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, new wine must be poured into new wineskins. And no one after drinking old wine wants the new, for they say, the old is better.
To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O God, my God, in you I trust. You are the son of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I put my trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let us pray to the Father, who through the Son has shown us the way to righteousness. Grant that the Church, confessing the faith of the Lord Jesus, shall never cease to praise you for your mercies. Give to your people strength to resist temptation and to acknowledge you, the only God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the earth that it may give food for our needs. Prosper the work of those who produce and distribute food. Bring relief to those who live in barren places and struggle for existence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless our families and friends with stability in our home and sufficiency for our needs. Keep us in harmony with our neighbours and those with whom we work, making us free from all that seems to divide us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on those who lack the means of life. Deliver from evil all men and women who feel temptation and show them the way of righteousness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peace of the world, for the work of the United Nations to bring stability to the Ukraine area. We pray for those who are now caught up in a conflict not of their own making and are being displaced and racially profiled. We pray for the safety of the world and we offer to you, Lord, our heartfelt concerns. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give to those for whom our prayers have been asked the gifts of wholeness, comfort and strength. Be with those who you have empowered with healing and with medical knowledge and enable them to work as your eyes, ears and hands. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for the faithful departed, remembering this week Eileen Anastasio and Dan T. Priest. In their life, they confessed Jesus as Lord. By Jesus rising from the dead, we ask you, grant them eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Strengthened by the example of Christ, we pray that we may be saved from all sin. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, his son Jesus Christ, 40 days in the wilderness, and was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Give us the grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your spirit and as you know our weaknesses so may we know your power to save through jesus christ your son our lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen trusting in our compassion of god as our savior taught us so we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.